My foot on the gas, like I'm tryna bust out the bottom. Watch how I slide and then get off like a potter. Catch me if you can, I'm a bad man. Live a double life like I'm bad man. My foot on the gas. What is up everyone? It's your boy Mike from Balls of Fury. Welcome back to the channel. And I wanted to talk about the spider gene. I wanted to talk about my opinion on it, why I keep spider ball pythons, and give you guys a little bit of advice of what you should do if you do wanna work with the spider gene, but are hesitant because of the spider wobble. Let's talk about what the spider wobble actually is and how it can actually affect the snake. This is what the spider ball python actually looks like, you guys. It actually reduces the pattern of the snake and it gives it that pixelated white side look as well. Also, the spider gene is known for creating that crazy head stamp, makes for some of the best head stamps in the game. But let's actually talk about what the spider wobble is. The spider wobble is a neurological defect of the central nervous system of the snake. It causes the snake's head to tremble. The snake can also move in weird directions. It can corkscrew and just overall affects the motor skills of the animal and can cause them to actually fail in captivity. Now, as you can see here, guys, this guy is not demonstrating any wobble whatsoever. And in some cases, the rarity will uh, differ. Some snakes will have extreme cases where it will cause them to fail as an animal and actually perish. And in most cases, they actually do great in captivity. Those extreme cases are pretty freaking rare, but it's just a beautiful mutation. And I really enjoy what it does with certain genes. It's great with Orange Dream. It works awesome with Clown. It looks really cool with Calico as well. So it's just a cool gene. It's been around forever. And that's a little background on the spider wobble. And this guy is coming to say what's up. This is my boy, Odell. For the most part, guys, spider ball pythons do great in captivity. However, there are some rare examples where the snakes do fail to thrive, they cannot eat, and they end up perishing. So it is unfortunate that that is actually a reality when it comes to the spider gene. And also, guys, you cannot breed spider to spider. It is a lethal combination. The babies will not be viable. You also cannot breed it to spot nose. It is the same deal with that gene. Piece of advice to you guys, if you want to work with spider, would be to get spider into a female. If you're going to buy spider, get a female. The reason I say that is because let's say you go out there and you buy a desert ghost clown spider male and you have four or five females at home that are in that project you plan to put that boy to. The problem with this is, is that now instead of just having one clutch of spider ball pythons, you're potentially going to produce four to five clutches with spider combinations in the mix. You're increasing the amount of spider ball pythons you're producing and putting on the market, which in the long run, I don't think is a recipe for success. Now, if you're looking at the spider ball python as an investment quality animal, I would steer you away from that because the gene will actually devalue your animal. A lot of people are staring away from spiders. They're not in high demand due to the neurological deficit. So if you're thinking about them as an investment, I would not do that. The only way that you're gonna find a spider ball python that is actually expensive is gonna be because of the other genes that are at play there. It's not actually gonna be because of the spider. If anything, the spider may take down the price of that animal compared to an animal that wouldn't have the spider gene in it that may be less powerful. So you wanna stay away from it as an investment, guys. And that's pretty much my advice for you if you do wanna work with the spider gene. Don't hesitate to work with the spider gene if you like it guys they do great in captivity i've had a lot of success with them all of my spider stuff has actually thrived they eat really really well they honestly eat best out of all of the snakes in my collection spiders are always on to eat they love to eat and uh they do well for the most part you know as long as you don't get one with an extreme case now just realize that if you do want to work with spider and do produce them you may come across a situation where you produce unviable offspring and it may be a bummer to you um you know just breed with morals you guys it's not about you know making tons of money and stuff the spider gene is one of those genes that i think you should selectively breed that's why i say get it in your female so you can selectively pick what you want to put spider into and what you want to keep and what you want to make so i hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope that um, this helps you understand the spider gene more. 
That's my opinion about the spider gene. And if you guys enjoyed it, please drop a comment. Please tell me your opinion. Like this video. Let me know what you think about the spider gene. And uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.